So if you get the axle failed or vibrations detected error message during air leash pre-flight check, please reboot air leash and retry the pre-flight check one more time. If the same error persists, only then do the air leash axle calibration. To do the calibration, scroll down the error message text by pressing the down arrow button until you see the repeat check screen. Then press the right arrow button to enter the axle calibration for air leash. During axle calibration, you will have to put position air leash in six different positions while resting it on a level surface. Press OK button to start the calibration. So after the countdown timer runs out, position air leash on a level surface so that the arrow icon is pointing upwards. Hold air leash steady and wait for the tone change. So when you hear this tone, do not move air leash. It is calibrating. Just hold it steady as possible. So when the tone changes, again, you have to position air leash so that the arrow icon is pointing upwards. Hold air leash steady. When you hear this tone, do not move air leash. It is calibrating. Hold it as steady as possible. When you hear this tone and see the message, reposition so that the arrow icon is pointing upwards, hold air leash steady and wait for the tone change. When you hear this tone, do not move air leash, just wait. Again, when the tone changes, rotate air leash so that the arrow icon is pointing upwards. Hold air leash steady as possible. When the tone changes, now it says hold air leash display up. I'm just gonna put it on a level surface and leave it there, don't move it. So when you hear this tone, do not move air leash because it's calibrating. And if you put the air leash in a position that was already calibrated, it will show you the message this side done please turn a different side. See, this side done, rotate to a air leash to a different side. So don't worry if, if that happens, just position air leash in the different uh, axis and it will resume the calibration process. So this was the last position and now air leash will automatically reboot Flip air leash, place it, flip it around, place it on the ground. And wait for the pre-flight check required screen to pop up. Do the air leash pre-flight check. If the pre-flight check still reports that the axle is failing, reboot air leash, redo the air leash axle calibration process one more time and, do, do the, and then do the pre-flight check again.